Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Senator Oji Uzokalu has urged the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, to give the South East region one ministerial slot. Kalu, who is representing Abia North in the district, however, has told Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu for what he described as showing Nigeria diversity with his, with his ministerial list. A former governor of Abia State in the Southeast region and seven senator, Ochi Uzo Kalu, has begged President Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu to give his region one ministerial slot. Kalu, who is representing Abia North in the district, However, I stood Ashiwa Dubola Metunubu for what he described as showing Nigeria's diversity with his ministerial list. The lawyer who made the appeal, the lawmaker who made the appeal on Friday in his Facebook page wrote, For me, the president has demonstrated the capacity of understanding the diversity and geographical spread of, of Nigeria. I know many people will be complaining that some zones get more and some did not get more. Yes, it is in order. The constitution provides that every state must have one. But I appeal that it should give South East one more to be able to have the sixth one that they used to have. To be honest with you, the ministerial list has shown that the president will understand the fundamental problems of Nigerians. Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu has shown an understanding of rudiments of political processes. Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu on Wednesday transmitted 19 names of the second batch of ministers to the Nigerian Senate for screening. It was earlier reported that the president submitted the list through Femi Bajabi Amila, his chief of staff, on Wednesday. Femi Bajabi Amila was accompanied to the Red Chamber by the Deputy Chief of Staff, Senator Azan Adiyejia. Already, the, the Senate has screened 25 nominees in the first batch as of the time of filing the report, and there were three more nominees to go. Coming by Dabia Miller, at on Thursday, submitted the first list with 28 nominees to the Red Chamber and said more names will be forwarded to the Upper Chamber. Senator Oji Uzokalu has urged the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to give the South East region one more ministerial slot. Oji Uzokalu, who is a Nigerian politician and businessman, who is a senator representing Abiyano Senatorial District. He served as governor of Abia State from, 2000, from the 29th of May 1999 to the 29th of May 2007. Oju Zokalu is the chairman of Schlock Holdings and the Daily Sun and New Telegraph newspaper in Nigeria. Prior to the election, he served as the chairman of Bono Water Board and the chairman of Cooperative and Commerce Banking Bank Limited. Oju Zokalu was also a member of the People Democratic Party (PDP), Progressive Alliance, People Progressive People Alliance (PPE), and the chairman of PPE Board of Trustees. He was the party's presidential candidate in the 2007 general election. He is currently a member of the ruling People All Progressive Congress (APC). After he officially announced his resignation as the PPA board chair, Oji Uzokalu contested in the 2019 Nigerian ele- general election to represent the people of Abia North in the Senate, running under the banner of the All Progressive Congress (APC). He defeated the incumbent senator Mao Ohabua with over 10,000 votes. Oji Uzo Kalu, who was born to the family of Mr. Johnson Uzo, Ezebe Kalu, and Mrs. Eunice Kalu, with only $35 at, to his name he had borrowed from his mother, Kalu began trading palm oil, first buying the oil from Nigeria's eastern region and then selling it in the country's northern region. He then began buying and reselling furniture on a large scale. Oji Uzokalu eventually established Schlock Odin, a conglomerate that would consist of a number of successful companies, including the Odia Lex Furniture Company, 
Shlok Nigeria Limited, Shlok United Kingdom Limited, Adama Publishers Limited, Shlok Vegetable Oil Aba, Shlok Paper Vaching Aba, Shlok United States Incorporated, Shlok Ghana, Togo, Kotsono, Guinea, South, Afri- South Africa, Liberia, Botswana, Shlok Korea, Supreme Oil Limited, Shlok Airlines, Sun Publishing Limited, and First International Bank Limited. Ojuz Alkalu became the youngest Nigerian to receive the National Merit Award from President Ibrahim Babangida at the age of 26 in 1986. He was selected as the Nigerian Chamber of Commerce Industrialists of the Year and awarded the Humanitarian Award of the University of Nigeria in Suka Humanitarian Club, the Volunteer Award of the International Association of Volunteers, the National Merit Award, the European Union Special Award in Brussels and the World Bank Leon Souvenir Award. Oji Uzokalu, who headed First International Bank Limited at the age of 33, he also stewarded Nigeria's commercial relations with China's Sino Pacific Shipbuilding Company while serving as the principal of Schlock Holdings. On the 11th of July 2007, Kalu was arrested by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission of char- on charges of corruption while serving as the governor of Abia State. He was later released on bail and accused the Obasanjo's regime of persecuting him during the after during and after his tenure in office, an accusation mentioned by the former United States ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell, in his book. Ojuzo Kalu has been a staunch member and supporter of the President Muhammad Buhari, a close friend and father who deserve all the support to make Nigeria better. Ojuzo Kalu, who is involved in the Injiko Igbo movement whose purpose is to help secure the presidential seat for the Nigerian citizens of Igbo extraction, and Igbo has only held the position of the head of state for six months since Nigerian independence. The movement has branches and supports group throughout the diaspora. Ojibu Zokalo launched the organization together with former Nigerian Senator Emmanuel Ongwe, a human rights advocate and lawyer earlier based in the United Kingdom. Oju Zokalu is the chairman of the Daily Sun, a Nigerian daily print newspaper founded and published in Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Daily Sun was incorporated on the 29th of March 2001 and then began production as weekly newspapers on the 18th of January 2003. And as a daily newspaper on the 16th of June 2003, the newspaper is similar to the format of the Sun in the United Kingdom. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.